Hi my darlings. <clears throat> I'm so sorry this video is so late. But I do have a really good excuse. I promise that you have a really good excuse. Well it's not so much as an excuse as a story. <clears throat> anyway, this is my story. Last Saturday, I had a shower. What did you do? No, um, <laughs> that's not the whole of it. Anyway, so when I hop in the shower, I take out my contact lenses, and once my contact lenses are gone from my eyes, I can see about this far in front of my face. Yeah. I can't see anything, really. So anyway, I hopped in the shower, I'm washing my hair and everything. I was in the shower for a good 10 minutes or so. <clears throat> and um, while I was in the shower, I didn't notice that our shower head broke. One of the little washer things actually wore away. And our shower head was spraying water everywhere. Anyway, so I didn't notice until I hopped out of the shower. And my bath mat was wet. I was like, what the hell? I put on my glasses and there is literally water just covering our entire bathroom floor. And it was coming off the ceiling. Like, our ceiling was dripping water. It was like it was raining in our bathroom. It was crazy. And I totally freaked out. And so I'm like cleaning the whole bathroom. I used about 10 towels and I had to mop the ceiling. It was just crazy. And after I finished freaking out, and after I finished cleaning up, I noticed that my scales had gotten damaged in the process of the shower, of the bathroom flooding. So, uh, I tried to turn them on, and they wouldn't work! So I, like, fiddling around with it, I'm trying to, like, fix it. And they just broke in, they completely stopped working! My $200 scales broke! I was so upset. I was so angry at myself for not noticing. So anyway, my scales broke. So, I had to take the whole thing apart, dry all of the parts out, put it back together, get it recalibrated, and now they're working again. Yeah, I should have just gone, gone and bought new scales, but anyway. So my fancy pretty scales are working again. And this morning they told me that I weigh 124 kilograms. Which means that I have lost in total now 3.7 kilos. And 700 grams since the last time I spoke to you guys. So that's my weigh in for this week and last week. I'll probably weigh in again on Sunday but if not it'll be next Sunday after my exams are over when I'll finally have time to have gone to the gym and focused on my eating for one whole day because that should be exciting I'm really looking forward to my exams being over but I'm not looking forward to the exams themselves I'm expecting to fail at least one probably two and maybe three but at least one because uh... <clears throat> One of them I haven't even finished the coursework for. Yeah. I've been focusing on other things. Anyway, whatever. I'll let you know how I go with my exams. And I will post again next uh, Sunday. So not this Sunday, next Sunday. With another weigh-in and an update on how I've been going. I'm pretty happy with the 700 grams. Even though I haven't really been focusing on my weight and everything. Um, I've just been trying to eat okay, eat everything in moderation, even though I've been having a lot of junky chocolate, um, which I know I shouldn't be, but I actually made these massive chocolate chunk cookies the other day, they were so good, but I probably shouldn't have eaten them, but whatever. I was like dying for sugar and caffeine. Yeah. Studying is killing me, I swear. But um, as soon as exams are over, I will finally be able to focus on myself again and eat the way that my body deserves and exercise the way that my body deserves and hopefully I will have more energy when that happens. Anyway, that's my update for this week 
and I will see you again next week.